Well, before today's judgment, the convicts, Major Hamza Al-Mustafa and Latif Shofalaha, had been at the Krikri Maximum Prison for over 14 years. Now, depending on which side you're on, the tension for that long period could be regarded as lawful or unlawful. In this background report, we examine the issue that led Major Hamza Al-Mustafa into this situation. Our correspondent, Victoria Ido, reports. Money was brought from Central Bank. Anyone who encountered Major Amza Al Mustafa, the Chief Security Officer of late Head of State General Sonia Bacha, between 1993 to June 1998, would attest to the huge powers he wielded at the presidential villa. They were looking for me, but you would take me to. Even his very senior colleagues who encountered him knew how dangerous it was to undermine his authority. He now handed me over to uh, Major Mustafa. That was my first time of entering Major Mustafa's office. Then, when I got there, I met Gerard Shaya Bamai, I met Bashiru Magashi, ABM Idi Musa, Brigadier Sabo, all there. In Mustafa's office. In Mustafa's office. As CSO to the former head of state, he headed a small security outfit founded by him at the villa. The soldiers were trained in the Republic of Israel and Korea and were at his beck and call. Al Mustafa was alleged to have been responsible for most of the torture, killings, and war turned looting during Abacha's rule. And then Abacha died in June 1999. So the party ended. It was removed the CSO by the transitional regime established by General Abdul Salami Abubakar. And in October of that year, he was arrested and charged with the murder of Kudera Sabiola. He was first arraigned in October 1999 on a four counts charge bordering on conspiracy and involvement in the 1996 murder of late Kudirata Biola along Lagos Ibadan Expressway. He and Latif Shufalahon were charged with the murder but pleaded not guilty. And on January 30, 2012, the court found them guilty and they were sentenced to death by hanging. Al Mustafa and Shufalaha had pleaded against the judgment of the Lagos High Court 24 hours after the sentence. In the notice of appeal, the appellants contended that the death sentence handed by the lower court was unwarranted, unreasonable, and a manifest miscarriage of justice. In all, he had been in custody for 15 years. Victoria Ido, reporting for Channels Television News.